This creek is absolutely loaded with turtles. There's another one right there. There's one behind it right there. There's a smaller one over here somewhere. All right, check this out. Right here we have a, uh, what I believe to be a plain-bellied water snake. Uh, is it focusing? Yeah. All right, let's see how close we can get. Oh, wow. I'm making a lot of noise and he doesn't really care. Uh, gotcha, come here. Ooh, he's kind of pretty. Okay, I apologize, it's not focusing one bit. All right, let's see, there we go. That's better, I think. Nice. Plain bellied water snake. Okay, it's not focusing. All right, here's our water snake. Now that I look at it, it's actually pretty skinny. It seems kind of unhealthy to be totally honest. But we're gonna go ahead and let it go off and do its thing. Kind of feel sad letting it go, because you look at crap like this and it really just disappoints you. All of this pollution. Well, I walked by here earlier and I didn't even see this. Check this out. We have a big female red ear slider. I assume it's looking for somewhere to lay eggs, but um, she's kind of on concrete, so can't really lay eggs there. So I'm gonna move her up, up there so that she can lay some eggs up there. I'll assume she knows what she's doing. All right, girl, come here. Ah. Oh man, you, oh, that's nice. Just peed all over. All right. Still peeing. Wow, okay. Let's take you over here. All right, big girl, I hope you're able to lay your eggs. Oh, ew, you got a 
big old turtle leech right here. We'll go ahead and get that off. I'm sure that's causing some discomfort. There we go. It's off. Okay. Look at these things. This is painful too. Their bite hurts. Alright everybody, I'm getting murdered by mosquitoes here, so I'm going to keep this short and sweet, but I just flipped this rock here, and under it was, uh, probably going to say this wrong, but I think this is uh, called the Bromney Blinds. Now, these guys do have uh, eyes, but I believe that their eyes are covered in a layer of skin, I think, and uh, these guys are known for eating ants and ant larvae. So that's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and set them back. There we go. Now I've flipped this rock three times before and each time it's had a blind snake under it. So that's pretty cool. Oh, and also something else to mention is uh, Texas has multiple different species of blind snakes. But that species right there is a non-native. Uh, don't quote me on this, but I believe they're from uh, Asia, maybe? Maybe? Well, this is pretty sad. Right here we have a dead, rough green snake. Just got hit a few, uh, well, a few hours ago probably, because the ants are all over it now.
got a green anole right here. Actually, it's brown, but uh, they can change color from green to brown. Look at this caterpillar. This thing can't be real. Look at that. Oh my god. This is the caterpillar of uh, some sort of sphinx moth, I assume. Oh my god. Dang, it's pretty fat. Wow. Flipped him under a rock, so uh, I would probably say he's about to uh, turn into a cocoon and turn into a uh, sphinx moth. Wow. Look at this thing. I was just walking along and I almost stepped on him. It's a giant um, western rat snake. Oh, he's fired up. Okay. It's good to see one of these. So, um, since I don't really see these too often, I'm going to go ahead and pose it and work on getting a couple of pictures of it, if it'll calm down. Which, I don't know if that'll happen. Okay. Oh, he's got a little injury on his neck right there. All right, check this out. I don't want to bother too much, but right here we have a Texas spiny lizard laying eggs. How cool is that? She dug this little burrow right here, and she's going to lay her eggs inside there. And she's just going to take off. These guys don't protect the eggs.